Sixth grade, module four, lesson 26, problem set. Number one, find the solution to the equation below using tape diagrams. Check your answer. So m minus seven equals 17. We need to use a tape diagram to show this. So I'm gonna use some space over here. This is number one, and the equation was m minus seven equals 17. So let's use tape diagrams. So I'm going to draw one tape diagram showing that the whole thing is equal to m because we have m minus 7 is equal to 17. So that means that there's going to be two pieces, m and 7, or three pieces, m and 7 and 17, that we need to work out. But the whole is going to be m. So my next step, I'm going to draw another tape diagram. The whole is still m. It's always going to be m. But this time, I'm going to use my two numbers. So we have seven, so that piece is seven. Then we have m minus seven is equal to 17. And the whole thing is m. So our last tape diagram, we still have m. And we know that this piece is seven right here and m minus seven is equal to 17. So what we could do is add the 17 and seven to get m. So seven plus 17 would be equal to 24. So m is equal to 24. Because, and we can check by saying it's 24 minus seven equal to 17. We can just really show that it does. Okay, number two, find the solution of the equation below algebraically, check your answer. So we have n plus 14 equals 25. So we want to get n by itself. So in order to get n by itself, right now it has plus 14. So to make that just n plus nothing, what we can do is subtract 14 from that. So we'll have n plus 14, and I'm gonna add minus 14. Now what we do to the left side, we must also do to the right side. So instead of just 25, it's now going to be 25 minus 14. So you can see here, this is what we've added, minus 14. Otherwise, it's the same exact thing. And since we're doing the same thing on both sides, it's still equal. n plus 14 minus 14 would just be n. And 25 minus 14 is equal to 11. So n should equal 11. And we can check it by is 11 plus 14 equal to 25? Yes, it is. OK. Number three, find the solution to the equation using tape diagrams. So another one with tape diagrams. P plus eight equals 18. Okay, so I'm gonna have two parts. So we're gonna have, because these are equal. So we have one tape diagram that's 18, one tape diagram that is P plus eight. So these are both equal. Now I'm going to separate the P and the 8, but again they're equal, but I'm going to split them into two parts, so we'll have the P and the 8. And then one more time, I'll have 18. And I'm going to try and this time figure out what P should be. So what is the missing part of 8 if the whole thing needs to equal 18? So 10 would be equal to P because 10 is 8. 10 plus 8 is 18. So the point is to show that P right here is equal to 10 because they are the same exact size. So P is equal to 10. And if we want to do the check, P is equal to 10 because 10 plus 8 equals 18. Number four, find the solution to the equation algebraically. Check your answer. 
g minus 62 equals 14. Okay, so we need to get g by itself. So right now it's g minus 62. So how can we get rid of the minus 62? What we'll have to do is cancel that out by adding 62. So we'll have g minus 62 plus 62 equals 14. And since we added 62 over here, we're gonna need to add 62 right there. So we've done plus 62 on both sides. So g minus 62 plus 62 is just g. So g is equal to 14 plus 62, and 14 plus 62 would be 76. So g is equal to 76, and we can check that by is 76 minus 62 equal to 14? It is. Okay, five, find the solution to the equation using the method of your choice. So I'm gonna use the algebraic way because I think it's a lot faster route to get to the answer. So m plus 108 is equal to 243. So I need to, if we're adding, we need to get m alone. So right here we're adding plus 108. So I need to get rid of that 108 and the way I can do that is by subtracting 108. But if I do that to one side, I need to do it also to the other side. So now we'll have m plus 108 minus 108 is just m is equal to 243 minus 108. So let's see what that is. 11 minus 8, or sorry, 13 minus 8 is 5. 3 minus 0 is 3. 1. So this should be 100. 35 and is so 135 plus 108 is equal to 243 number six identify the mistake in the problem below then correct the mistake all right so they have p minus 21 equals 34 then they did p minus 21 minus 21 equals 34 minus 21. So here's where I see the problem. They did minus 21 and then they added another, or not added, they put in another minus 21, which doesn't cancel it out. Negative 21 minus 21 is just negative 42. So we ended up with negative 42 instead of zero. So what they should have done is done plus 21 plus 21, because they're trying to get these two to cancel each other out. So minus 21 plus 21 is zero. So the mistake was that they subtracted 21 instead of adding 21. So let's correct it and do P minus 21 plus 21 is equal to 34 plus 21. So P would be equal to, what's 34 plus 21? 55. So P is equal to 55. Number seven, we need to identify the mistake again, then correct the mistake. So Q plus 18 equals 22. So, so Q plus 18, so they subtracted 18, that's good, equals 22 plus 18. But instead here, instead of doing minus 18, they did plus, so these two when you need to match because we must do the same thing on both sides in order for them to stay equal. So it needs to be minus 18. So it should be Q plus 18 minus 18 is equal to 22 minus 18. So we would have Q is equal to 22 minus 18 is four. So Q should be equal to four. And number eight, match the equation with the correct solution on the right. So r plus 10 equals 22. Let's do r plus 10. So to get rid of that, we need to do minus 10. would be equal to 22 minus 10. So r is equal to 22 minus 10, which is 12. So those two match. Now let's do 
r minus 15, so to cancel out that minus 15, let's add 15, is equal to 5 plus 15. So r is equal to 5 plus 15, which is 20. r minus 18, so to cancel that out, let's add 18, is equal to 14 plus 18. 14 plus 18 is equal to 32. And then the last one, r plus 5, we're going to need to do minus 5 to cancel that out, is equal to 15 minus 5. So r is equal to 10. And those are the matches.